You only have one week left to win one of the rarest Evos that Mitsubishi ever made for the public. We've got new clothing today. It's the last drop of the giveaway. So make sure you guys head to 53supply.com and grab your merch. It's super comfortable. You're gonna love it. Plus every $5 you spend gets you one shot at winning this amazing car. You got one week left. It ends at the end of June. Go to the link I've got for you at the top of the description and get your entries. Let's go. Boy. I'm just gonna go right on into it. I just finished the video of us dropping off my 240. I forgot to give him my bumpers. I'm going down to Austin right now to buy a car that I have been sort of talking about for a while over Instagram. I've been wanting to buy a BMW for a long time. That's not true, actually. That's actually the opposite of true. I've been avoiding buying a BMW for a long time, but I have a huge soft spot for wagons and sedans. One of my favorite cars that the US really never got were the M series Tourings. Now I'm to this point to where I want a backup car. I don't necessarily need a seat time car because I use my sim for that, but I do need a backup car for my drifting stuff. I need something that I can take to these like grassroots events that I can still get realistic and real fun, enjoyable practice in, but not put stress on my actual, my real comp car. For the next season, I'm gonna have to turn my 240 into a pro-am car, which is gonna require a lot more safety and stuff like that. It'll be nice to have sort of a car that can haul a lot of people that I can give paid ride-alongs and stuff like that too to sort of recoup some of these expensive trips, but also just sit there and thrash all day long with less issues. So I'm hoping to be able to do a BMW like that. A second dedicated drift car that I can also drive around. I'm still gonna try and keep radio and AC and stuff like that, but sort of a party car, if you will, for these other types of events that are more grassroots or lower horsepower or more simple tracks where I also don't wanna use uh, my super overbuilt and gripped up comp car. Now the question is, is the wagon capable of doing this? I think so. I would think so. Now, maybe probably not as much as like a sedan or a coupe, but wagons are infinitely way cooler obviously so that was a no-brainer there we're gonna see how it works it's gonna be a really interesting build and I'm a little I'm, I'm anxious to see what we can do with the car if we can execute this perfectly and as well as I want to it's gonna be one of the most cool cars I've ever built I think so I'm going down to Austin right now to pick up my first BMW and this is gonna be the drift party dad wagon I don't know what you want to call it we got to figure out a name for it you let me know but I'm driving right now to Austin, Texas. Now I'm gonna go pick up me, my first ever Bulvarian Motor Works piece of machinery. Let's go, baby. No, I was supposed to hit the wheel and it's supposed to go, go dark. Here we go, three, two, yeah, uh, this is probably better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this dude's got a freaking E36 compact. There he is. Oh, let's go. What's up, man? Gabe? Nice to meet you, dude. All right, where do you want me? Is that your compact? Yeah, it is. That's sick. I love those things. Yes. Okay, boys. Project Turd has been acquired. But this dude's got some sick BMWs. Bunch of Tourings, like Touring Dad. Here we go. I'm gonna show you guys this when I get home. All right, guys, I guess it's time to go over the car and show you guys what it is, why I bought it, and talk about it a little bit and some of our plans. What do you think so far, dude? Mm, needs work. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled out this and I was like, mm, yummy. Mm, yeah, I was like, yeah, Did you get it started? No, I literally just clicked. <laughs> Dude, so this thing's this thing's a little bit brutal. It won't even open the trunk. Well, no, it's the terminal on the battery itself. It's like, yeah, you'll, yeah, oh man. So I had to have another battery in here, jumping that battery, by the way. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It's a, hold on. Give me one second. I'm not open it here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh man. Yeah. You can just rewire that though. Yeah, it just needs a little bit of love. Let's get it outside, dude. Uh, I'm gonna go check this thing out. Show you guys my turd. A little, little bit of wiring, nothing, no bit, no biggie, right? You got it? Yeah. Try it again? Yep. Uh oh. Nah, it's dead. 
Okay, uh, I guess we can just jump it. There we go. Oh! No. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I promise we'll get it outside soon. <laughs> I think there's some ignition things we're gonna have to work out. Yeah, I think it has fuel, too. We can always put some more in it. Just wiggle that, yeah. There we go, we just gotta wiggle that terminal. Oh yeah, the day the gauges don't work. Uh oh, I had my f my foot down and it still didn't work. I think it's not like the idle. You know what it is? What? The motor's not stock, so I think it probably needs a tune. You think so? Yeah. Oh, the rear wipers on. Hey, wait. Oh, it dude, it idles. I promise. You s smell how rich that is. Woo! Let's go, baby. The dash lights up, right? Yeah. Oh, it lights it up. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Maybe the cluster's just dead. Oh my I god. I pulled it in. It's plugged in. So. How many tries? I think we're good now. I want to see which wheel does a burnout. The engine sounds okay. I think the engine's good. Yeah. I just think it just yeah. You think it just oh. Uh. I might need a tune. Golly, bro. Because it's not a stock motor. This thing's apparently the engine swapped. Still. So now it's got an interesting ignition. I think it's a fueling problem. Yeah, I think they just like, which you wouldn't think that the stock tune would be that different, but like. Yeah, it might need a tune and we can put a pump in it. Maybe. Mm, okay. The pump seems really loud, so. Yeah, it's idling by itself. Okay. Where's traction control? It doesn't look like this one has uh, ASC. So it's probably no no traction anyways. I mean, I'm gonna assume if the dash doesn't work, then it probably doesn't have most of the electronics to do that, so. Well, I think uh, some cars didn't come with traction control. That works. I'm gonna see which uh, wheel feels out. Which car did that run the None of them. <laughs> the fronts are just locked up. Was it pushing? Like, was it scrubbing? It was just pushing? pushing the fronts. Try hitting that DSC button. I just don't like. Oh my god. What if I like, maybe hold it? Dang it. This thing does not like doing anything. <laughs> It is reverse don't huh? this reverse burnouts. <laughs> the only other idea we can have is if we're we're already manual swapping it. You could be uh you could dump the neutral drop it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it does not like that. <laughs> what the heck? That is oh the best God. we're gonna get, bro. Um, yeah, so. What? What the f? Oh, yeah, it's quick release. You didn't notice that? Maybe try and put it in sport mode. Is there a sport mode? That's sport mode right That's there. It? Put it in first. See if you can dance your dollar. Actually, hang on, I have an idea. It does not like that. <laughs> we, we, we did it, boys. Pop the hood on it. Huh? So you wanna pop the hood on it? Unless, uh, is that smoke coming out the exhaust? Give it a little rev. Oh no, I think that was just tire smoke. I think we're good. I will, I mean, literally, yeah, well, like these tires are probably so, I mean, these are old Michelins. So they probably just have all the smoke in it. I decided I wanted a BMW because a lot of people really enjoy the chassis. Now, 
If I'm gonna do a BMW, it's gotta be my way. It's either my way or I don't do it at all. And you guys know I love, I'm a, I'm a sucker for tourings. I'm a sucker for wagons. So this is gonna be my party car. And we're gonna try and figure out how to make an E46 touring a four door little skitter. So you have a friend that has an E46 touring that actually, it does drift successfully. So I'm particularly excited about this. I've been wanting to build an E46 for a long time. E36, E46, E92. I, I really do like BMWs, but it's just, there's a lot going on with them. And so I've already ordered, we got like 10K worth of parts already, just like stacked up on the way for this thing. But we're gonna make this into a little dad wagon drift missile. Yeah. Gabby, what do you think? This is gonna be your first car. What do you think? Is that a cool car? Yeah. Beamer. <laughs> is that a Beamer? Say Beamer. <laughs> BMW? Okay, <laughs> this car is interesting and I kind of want to go over it next video and just well first I want to like clean the whole thing up and also the fan is not turning on so that's probably something Garen the fans is not on. Oh, that's a condenser. Yeah, so you have a clutch fan up here. We're gonna go through and, and diagnose and see how bad this car really is but I got this thing for steel and I knew because I was gonna engine swap it and manual swap it that it really didn't matter how perfect the car was like running in the form where I bought it. So Garen is like, uh, you wouldn't say you're a big BMW guy, but you got a D36 that you drift. So you know a bit, a bit I don't like them, but they drift good. They drift well. They drift so he knows a good bit about them and he kind of convinced me. And so we're probably gonna keep it all BMW drivetrain, powertrain, and see what we can do. Like maybe a little turbo M52 action in this thing, but I wanna make it clean. I wanna have fun with it, but most importantly, I just want a backup drift car that I can just have fun with all the time that just lasts all day long. So it's gonna be a very simple car. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna eat those words someday. Keep the little BMW in line six, slow as hell, a little thingy. I don't know, yeah, this thing was obvious, this thing was engine swapped. But it sounds healthy. Maybe some nitrous. I've never done nitrous, and I feel like this engine, good candidate for that. I put a 50 shot on it. 300 shot, dude. <laughs> it's always fun getting a new car, going over the things that other owners and people have done to it. So we'll clean it up and check it out and get this thing running as soon as we can. I'm kind of like, I'm trying to push to get this thing at, in a, at a local like grassroots event ASAP. So I'm excited, dude. I'm excited to see what we can do in a Beamer. By the way, guys, um, so actually, Garen, do you want to tell them what all we're going to do to like stiffen the chassis up? Just so, so we're going to do full rear end reinforcements, all new bushings, all new arms, uh, monoball rear trailing arm bushing. So essentially when it squats, it won't mess up the toe. Mm. Um, we're going to come up front and then we're going to do the rear of the control arm actually tends to pull out the bolts. So, oh, wow. We'll reinforce that and we'll reinforce the front cradle. I have all that stuff on the way already, right? This is stuff yeah, you that's the full reinforcement okay, cool. kit. So we'll reinforce the whole chassis. It doesn't look like it has too much rust. We gotta relocate that battery though, because the trail yeah, is this is pretty bad. The car is not like terrible, terrible. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to make like a "it's worse than we thought" clickbait title or something. I think the car is about really on par with what. Mm, that was quick disconnect. Oh God. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that just happens though. Battery acid, like, yeah. will start, you know, getting out of that battery, and then it just, it's so, so easy to, to do that. We could also, um, we could weld something in place there, tack something else, so we could just get yeah, another. Yeah, you can usually get the aluminum trays, and they'll just. Yeah, right that's probably, the, are best probably idea the best for sure. I'll, I'll look into that. I'll get some parts ordered today, and then we can go ahead and get, uh, get this boy rolling. You think we can make it to Cam's this weekend? This weekend, you mean, uh, July? <laughs> in july yes okay Hopefully. dude i'll drift at auto bro let's weld the diff and swinger it all right big turd we're gonna get we're gonna get to working on you you might see some nitrous here soon but uh with, uh oh it did come with some custom oh hey that's bmw branded too bro expensive that's probably like 60 bucks worth of coolant right there we're just gonna use water and water water water's fine I'm particularly stoked about this car and I wanted to introduce this to you guys. It's my first BMW that I've ever owned and I wanted it to be something cool that was unique to me and uh, you know, not just an M series car or something like that. Um, I'm, 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 I'm so excited, so excited about it. By the way, pretty much all these cars are running now and I'm really stoked about that. This car in which I'm getting the final piece 
for the Supra, and I'm about to drop this off for Fab. It's all, it's so good, dude. It's so good. So excited, bro. And make sure you guys, by the way, you get two weeks left to enter. I don't even know if it's two weeks. You guys don't have much time. You have two weeks left to enter into winning the Evo, the Evo 3. The giveaway is almost over. We got some new Johnnies for you right there. I need to clean the car up and hopefully I can take it to the track. I really, really hope I can crunch a track day in before this giveaway ends, but I want to have some fun with it. But yeah, we got some new tires, fresh oil change, all that kind of stuff. So this thing's ready to go. Every $5 you spend gets you one entry into winning. One of the rarest Evos the Mitsubishi ever produced, mass produced. So head on over to fivefreesupply.com. If you guys are stoked, make sure you guys are subscribed, hit the like button, drop a comment. I wanna see some more comments. I feel like we haven't had a ton of comments lately. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna move on to the next video. We're gonna start searching this thing out. I'll clean it up a little bit, but it does need to be a little nicer. But we're gonna figure this thing out. It apparently overheats and has some issues, so yeah. Texas, they're freaking tornadoes on the right and left. God dang. <laughs>